Play. Hey you guys, it's Jen with Let's Get Chalkin' with Jen, independent designer with Chalk Tour. As you guys come on, please make sure you say hello to me. I would love to welcome you. If you are catching me live, you will see the big red live box in the upper left corner. That means we can chat live right here on Facebook. And if you are catching me on YouTube, you guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel for all the fun, crafty videos. I would love to welcome you. So hey guys, hello. Happy, happy Monday. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing with all the changes going on? There's a lot going on, you guys. I just want to know. I'm thinking about you all. I know it's crazy. Everybody's staying at home. Don't know what to do. We could always craft. Right, you guys? Hey, Patty and Patty. Hi, guys. Hi, Lori. Hi, guys. So if you're looking for something fun to do, I can help you out with that. Right, ladies? Hey, Tracy. Welcome. Chalk Tour offers a really fun way that you can do crafty things at home. You can create beautiful DIY home uh, decor. Hey, Susan, how are you ladies? Welcome, welcome. So tonight is going to be a really, really quick project, you guys. For those of you who have never heard of this, welcome. I am a designer with this really cool crafting company called Chalk Tour. Hey, George. Hi, Marty. Super, super excited. It's going to be a quick one, you guys, but I promise you it is worth it. If anyone comes on and wants to know what this is, when I'm doing it, please let me know. Reach out to me. Hey, Tanya. Hello. Such craziness. Oh, oh, my God. Lori, bless you for all you are doing. The work from home and insurance. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, for sure. Pray for all the nurses, the doctors, the EMTs, the policemen, you guys. They are all in our prayers with everything going on. I know Jacob called us. They're going to be, he's going to be coming home because they're closing the, the, the student housing. Jason's home from his, like his college. They're not, you know, they're not working right now. So just a lot, a lot going on. I mean, it's heavy, heavy weight on everybody's mind right now. And a great way to forget about things, you guys, is crafting. So we're going to do a super fun craft today, you guys. Quick and easy. This is also something really, really great. If you've got young ones at home, Maybe you have to do some kind of art projects. I really, really have to tell you, thank you so much, Crystal. At Chalk Tour, we have some really great things. We have, like, I do offer these cute little sample kits, you guys. It's really, really cute. Um, let me just kind of show you. And it would be a great project for kids where you would get a mini transfer, a chalkable chip, you get the chalk paste and a squeegee. You get everything you need to make a cute little project. So if anyone is interested in anything like that, please reach out to me and let me know. It's something, you know, fun for the kids to do. And it could be a part of, like, if you homeschool or anything like that. Would love to help you with that. Just reach out to me. Plus, we have a lot of really, really great designs. For sure, ladies, prayers, prayers, prayers to all of those that are working hard um, through this time, it, it's it's scary. I'm not going to lie. It's very scary. So tonight's project, you guys, like I said, it's going to be super cute, super quick. You guys are going to be like, what? You're done already? I know, but I forgot to get my color chalk paste that I was going to use, which is really sad. I didn't even realize I didn't have my chalk paste ready. So here you go. Cute design tonight. This is a chalkboard. I bought this from Amazon. Hey, Gloria. Hi, Kelly. Hello, hello. Right, Tonya? Super fun, quick, easy designs for, for your kids. And what's nice is they can rinse it off and do it over again. Rinse it off and do it over again. They can do it on your refrigerator. They can do it on the stove, the glass door, things like that. You know, just something fun for them. Maybe they have a chalkboard in their room. Um, like I was saying, you guys, this is something I got off of Amazon. I bought these. I don't know if it has anything on it. No, there's nothing on it. It came in a set of two. They're just cute little chalkboard. Um, what do they call these things? Oh, my gosh. Like, it looks like a cutting board. And I thought it would be really, really cute to do our rise and grind on this and then add a little embellishment, as you saw when you first came into the video. Really cool, you guys. These are all silk screen reusable transfers. This one's called our Rise and Grind. It is a size A transfer, so it is five by seven. On the back, it tells you how to use them. Peel, prep, fuzz, apply, remove, heat set. That is only for ink, and then clean up. You clean these off with water. You wipe them down with a Clorox wipe. You let them air dry, adhesive side up. 
and you usually get anywhere from eight to 10 uses out of one of these transfers, you guys. So really, really cool. All right. So what are some fun things you guys are doing while you're sitting at home? You all right? Jason just came home. Hi, Jason. Jason just came home. Yeah, that's not good. Anybody doing it? We finished watching our TV series the other night. Um, I stained some wood today. That's really about all I've done. Had a couple little things. We still didn't find toilet paper, though, I will say that. Uh, the first thing I am going to do, though, you guys, is I'm going to write, thank you very much, on the back of my transfer. Now, I'm not going to be using these little pieces today, so I'm just going to set that aside. But I'm just going to write on the back. I'm going to put a number one on there and then a number one on the front just so I know which um, carrier sheet goes which which piece. Even though I'm only using just one, I'm still gonna go ahead and do that. So then I'm gonna take my transfer, I'm gonna run my finger over the edge, flip it over. Kelly, you chalking on your mini tags. Oh my gosh, Kelly, I actually have to show that here in a second with the mini beehives. So you guys, if you've never seen this product before, these are all silk screen reusable transfers. So there's an adhesive side and then there's the front, okay? All of this in here, this is all silk screen. So all the detailing and everything is already done for you. I am gonna fuzz this up since I'm putting this on a non chalk couture surface, just because I don't want it, it's, it's new and it's super sticky. So I'm just gonna go like that, okay? And then I'm gonna get this and put this right on my board here where I want it. Now I want it to be down as low as I can get it because I am going to add a little embellishment wreath. Okay. So once I get it there, I'm just going to press it down. Nope. I got to go up just a little bit and you can obviously remove it. And then I'm going to put it where I want it. Let's see. I think I'm down. I don't want to put my head in the camera, so I'm super sorry. I'm trying to not put my head in the camera. With head? Ha ha. You're funny, Jason. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. So then I'm going to smooth it out so there's no air bubbles in there. Ouch. Okay, just like that. And I'm actually going to grab one other color if I can find it quick. Quick, quick, quick. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Oh, I'm not going to find it back there because it's already on my table. All right. So I'm going to use a little bit of almond and a little bit of that favorite color pesto because I'm going to go ahead and use this little mini garland. Oh, thank you, Lori. All right. So our chalk paste, you guys, is uh, water soluble, semi permanent. Goes on as a liquid, dries as a solid, comes in 36 different colors, okay? You want it to be a yogurt sour cream consistency. So I'm just using one of our cute little stir sticks. We do sell those as well, you guys. Just like that. Stirring this up to make sure I have that really great consistency. Um, something I do want to mention to you guys really, really quick. And I'm just totally throwing this out there right now like out on a whim. With everything that is going on right now, the one thing I'm gonna say is I'm very, very thankful that I do have this, I, originally it was just like a little side hustle, as, as they call it, a side hustle, a part-time thing, part-time gig, whatever you wanna call it, you guys. Um, I'm, I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to have a second a second way of bringing income in so if anybody is interested in learning more about being a designer like myself, you know, maybe you love crafting. Oh, yay, George. Hey, Margaret. Um, just give me a hashtag join below, you guys. There is no obligation, but I can tell you it can be life-changing. It can be an extra $200. It can be an extra $5,000, whatever you want to turn it into, um, working the business. But it has definitely... You know, and, and honestly, I hate to say it, but in a situation like we're in, I know I have income coming in because I have a product that I, it kind of solves a solution where home decor comes into play. Hey, Sandy, welcome. 
It also is stress relieving. It's options for kids, adults. There are many ways to work it as a business. I am currently offering virtual workshops because sitting at home can get crazy. And who wouldn't love to sit together and craft? I just did a really cute um, project right up here with my Club Couture members where we got on a call and we did it together. So if you're interested in learning more about being a designer, just pop a hashtag join below and I'll make sure we get in touch. We can talk. Might not be for you. It's totally fine. Just throwing that out there. All right. Sorry, you guys. I, I just wanted to say that because I know it, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot on everybody's mind. So here we go. I'm going to take one of my mini squeegees, okay? I'm going to dip it in my chalk paste, and I'm going to scrape this across my silk screen. Now, because I've decided I'm going to do two colors here, I'm going to try to work a little bit quickly because the chalk paste does dry quick, you guys, okay? So you're applying pressure, you're pushing it through that silk screen, and then you're getting off your excess, okay? just like this and I'm trying to be careful because I am going to use the pesto as well but you just have to keep in mind that it dries quickly and you don't want it to dry on your silk screen because then it will pull up when you remove your transfer so that's just something you learn as you go if you don't realize that till after your first try we've all done it we have all been there so please keep that in mind it's it's normal it's totally totally normal you just learn how the chalk paste dries and works as you go along and you do more projects and you learn tips and tricks by watching people and learning things and asking questions it's all good all right so now top to bottom left to right never corner to corner oh that's so cool you guys hi debbie welcome you guys, that green and almond look amazing together. Love, love it. Can you see? Look how good that looks. Woohoo! Yes! It's exactly what I wanted. Now, the only problem I have right now, and I'm going to tell you, is my hair dryer broke. So I'm just going to wave this in the air while I talk to you guys for a minute. So I wanted to show you what I did today, you guys. I made this cute little bee's nest. So who would like to see a tutorial this week on how to make one of these? Give me a, a hashtag bee's nest or just a regular bee's nest in the comments if you guys want to see a quick tutorial this week on how to make one of those. Do you love it? Isn't it adorable? And then I thought I'm going to make, of course, I've got my tag ready to go with it. But I'm going to do something with that this week for you guys to show you how to do that tutorial. How's that sound? Something fun? Yeah, sorry. I'm fanning, I'm fanning my project over here off to the side because my hair dryer broke. Isn't that adorable? Cute little beehive. And it's super easy. It's so much easier than I thought it was going to be. And, um, but I wanted to try it first because I had never done it. So let me see. Am I good? I think I'm okay. All right. So I've got my project here. Let me get these off to the side, okay? I'm gonna take this little garland, okay? This little garland is, um, I got it from Hobby Lobby. And yay, I will definitely do that this week for you guys, absolutely, so stay tuned. This is actually a garland from Hobby Lobby. It's like um, a six foot garland. It is in the wedding section is where I got this piece. Okay, so I'm not untying it, so I don't know if you can see, like it literally would come apart if you wanted it to, but I'm leaving it tangled together. I'm just going to take a piece of ribbon, just like this, to cover that little, that little part there, okay? And then what I'm going to do is this. All right, so I've got that there. I'm going to take my glue gun a little bit here, you guys. Put some glue on that. I'm gonna put some glue on this too. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this down just like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue that down quickly. Make sure I have it where I want it. And then I'm gonna take my string. Hold on, 
let me unt unt untangle some of this string so that it's easier. So I'm just going to take some string, you guys, and I'm just going to wrap my handle with some twine. I'm sorry, i got to turn it to me to do this. Okay. And then I'm going to just kind of go down. There we go. This thing's got to go, but I don't want to, I don't want to take it off because I can hang it with it. All right, there we go. I'm going to get it going here. Facebook Live. What happens on Facebook Live stays on Facebook Live. I feel like I should be like Live PD. Yay, I'm so excited. You guys want to see it. Awesome. I just need Matthew to finish the bottle of Sprite and we'll be good to go. I'm just letting you know you need a two ounce liter bottle. That's all you need and some twine. Okay. I'm just doing this just to add a little bit of character, you guys. That's the only reason I'm doing this right here. No other reason but that. Okay. And then I'm going to hot glue it. on the back hot glue it on the back and I'm gonna press it down with not my finger because I already burnt my finger today okay I'm gonna take my scissors gonna cut that off cover it up you can move your string around a little bit there okay you guys, what? Look how adorable that is. Oops, my glue. Look how cute that is, you guys. Look how cute. And then again, put that right in the corner of your kitchen. Like, isn't that little darling, like if you had a little um, cubby in your kitchen, you could stick that right in there. Oops. Oopsies. There we go. Just like that. I think it's absolutely adorable. The pesto, sorry, matches that wreath perfectly, you guys. Perfectly. And like I said, that is a six-foot garland that I just did not untie. Do you guys love this? Look how adorable. That would be a really cute, it would be a really cute accent piece right on a coffee station. Or like I said, in the corner of your kitchen, you guys. But that is my quick little live for you tonight. I hope you love it. I think it's darling. Super simple, super easy. Our rise and grind transfer. Our almond and pesto chalk paste. I got the little cute little chalkboard from Amazon. The little cute little wreath from um, Hobby Lobby in the wedding section, you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned this week. I promise you I'm going to show you how to do this cute little beehive. Oh, look, he even looks cute with that, right? That's so cute. So stay tuned, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions about Chocotour, about the products, please let me know. You can check out my website right there. I got the link for you. Um, I also have a really amazing VIP group. I have a really fun giveaway going on right now that is going to be running through Sunday. So please check that out on my page, you guys. And I hope you have a great west, rest of your week. Please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And um, thoughts and prayers for everybody out there. And have a very, very blessed day, you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.